What an honor and a treat for me to be recognized by our Heart Association for the Worthen Cornet Award. I'm really rather blown away by the fact that I'm in the same company of three people that I've gotten to serve with on the Heart Association uh, Committee uh, and Board. That uh, being Dr. McSweeney, that uh, being Dr. Conley, and Dr. Fletcher, who I've learned so much from over the past several years. To also have someone like Governor Beebe, who's been a past recipient of this particular honor, it kind of blows me away that this guy that's a bald-headed, uh, very average person gets to be in the company of these wonderful people. I also want to thank right now our staff that's a part of the Heart Association. We have a tremendous group of people that have worked uh, to make a difference and certainly help me become a better person to be an advocate. That would include Joyce Taylor and Matthew Stripling, but it includes all the staff that's a part of the Heart Association that oftentimes do not get their due for the, all the things that they accomplish. They've helped us so much with the things that are going on in Little Rock schools. We have policies that have been created that allows that are first in the in the nation in terms of water and uh, making sure that everyone's hydrated. We've got things that, that bring in money for the Heart Association and we have research that's being done by some of our students that is actually just top notch. I want to thank also our president this year, Mr. Scott Davis, who's given us such energy to keep on moving and keep on striving forward. You know, heart health is very personal, isn't it? We think about it for ourselves and what we want for life, but we also think about loved ones. And I know like for my wife, Mary Ann and I, you know, when we look at, at, at just life, both of us have been impacted. Mary Ann with her parents, me with my grandpa. My grandpa is really what got me involved with the Heart Association. He died at age 55. I look just like him. I act just like him. I'm wound up like him. I eat like him. All those things. But that man died at 55 in the 70s from heart disease. Mary Ann's parents just recently have passed. And so this hits very close to us in terms of what we want to do to continue to support the Heart Association. What even matters more, you know, sometimes we take it away from ourselves and that actually, actually helps us jump more into support to the Heart Association. Think about your grandkids, okay? For me, this is Ryan and Ryan is my grandbaby and she's my world. That's why I'm going to continue to be a support, why I'm going to continue to be volunteering, why I'm going to continue to donate. And as I finish up on this award and, and my gratefulness for being selected, I ask each of you tonight, this is a ball, hey, go step forward. Continue to support the Heart Association by volunteering, but also write the check. Let's go make a difference. Let's stop this because right now there are so many men that at age 45, they become very susceptible. Women, 55 number one killer for women. We can make a difference by all of us jumping in and doing things to knock this disease out and get our lives in a place where we get to have value for a long, long time. Thank you so much for this honor.